This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. They have a huge variety of codes up on their website, reaching from Eternatus, Zation, League Battle Decks, you name it. Use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a European platform that I personally use every day. And you can uh, sell cards as well as buy cards from people all across Europe. And it's very easy to use. So definitely uh, check the website out by using the affiliated link in the description below. You're going to be helping me out a ton. What's up YouTube? It's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel today. We're going to be playing with none other than Arctozol. This is a fun archetype, not tier 1 for sure. We already checked out Santa Scorch, ADP, Pika Ram, Mewtwo, all the good stuff this time around. Let's have some fun with the Biting Whirlpool. So that's going to be fantastic. If the opponent attaches an energy from hand, they get two damage counters. And this stacks for every Arctozol in play. And it's also working out if the opponent uses stuff like Welder. So that's awesome. We also have access to a Sable IV, which is able to dish out 10 damage plus 60 more for every damage cutter, and that's where the Arctozolt comes into play, putting damage on the opponent. Also very fun against Frostmoth decks as well, like damage, 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 <laughs> very crazy. We're going to slow the opponent down with Crushing Hammers, which is going to help out against Eternatus as well as uh, ADP. And we also have Galarian Zigzagoon as uh, some additional pings, and our main engine is Roxy Engine, so we are resorting to Roxy. In combination with, of course, the Blow Wave Bomb, Weezix to put damage counters on every one of the opponent's Pokemon. In combination with Arctozolt, so damage will be everywhere. And then Sableye can finish the job. We're setting up very nice and easily thanks to Turbo Patch. And we have a, a one prize attacker in here in the form of Spiritomb. Only one for now. And there's only one great catcher in here. I would love to include more Gusts. But unfortunately, we don't have the space for it. So if you could find space for boss's orders and maybe a Palpat, that would be fantastic. But that's all up to you to decide. This is the main skeleton. We're probably going to be up against ADP from the bat, so we need to put uh, like four damage counters onto an ADP or five if he has a big charm. And that's definitely possible with the help of Roxy, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, we start off instantly with this, which is not bad. Not bad at all, so we start off with Sableye. We have a Quick Bow which can turn itself into... Um, a coughing that means we can Roxy for a lot of things. So this Zamazenta in play, interesting. He could be thinking we're playing Eternatus, but nothing more is true. Okay, there's a Mawal. Oh no, that Mawal is broken. That Mawal is so broken, so annoying as well. We do have scoop up net, so we could put technically put it back in the hand, but really Mawal on the first turn. Energy Spinner as well. He's just attaching to Zamazenta V, so this is going to be some sort of an ADP list. Nothing we can handle, though. Yeah, nothing we can handle. I actually want to spread some more damage around, but I guess we're going to have to do it like this. We can Quick Ball, throw away the Roxy, unfortunately. And we're just going to set ourselves up with a Spirit Tomb for now. Because Spirit Tomb also is able to dish out a huge amount of damage. Let's go! Research! Haba. Okay, we have the Rare Fossil, that's already a good start. We have Crushing Hammer, don't know if I want to do that just yet. I want to wait for the ADP. So, for now, we can also go for the Dene GX, but we're gonna do that after we've done the other stuff. We can Quick Ball, go for Coughing, then for Roxy. It seems to be okay. We also have Loot Surge, by the way, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. Let's go. Crushing hammer. It is head. So let's get rid of that. First, let's get rid of a Jirachi. He probably will not Marnie us, right? Let's get the scoffing up and rolling. And uh, I actually am going to go for Loot Surge, getting ourselves maybe the hammer back. We already have Roxy as it is, but playing more Roxies is always fun, right? But we have more of them in the deck. I think Crushing Hammer will be... That's also 50-50, and we have more... Yeah, I think just going to take the Roxy. So Roxy after Roxy after Roxy. That's going to be our main concern. So the loot search, pretty nice. Opponent could go for maximum 160 with the Mawal. Probably gonna see some ADP action right now. He didn't. He was not able to use Intrepid Sword. There's a reset stamp. Okay, that's bad. We have Roxy again. Yeah, it's not bad. We have scoop up net, so we can scoop up that scoffing that he actually uh, was so desperate to slap down on us. I'm gonna go for a Great Ball as well, finding ourselves Arctozolt. So if whenever he attaches energies, he will be will be punished instantly, so that's where the Crushing Hammers also come into play. Ta-da! It is still. So for now, let's just attach here. 
going for the building spite and gonna go for a roxy we're already gonna be able to spread a lot of damage so one two let's see here maybe we get some more scoop up that action maybe we don't yeah damage on everything we also have great catcher in our list by the way we have turbo patch which is not working because we don't have anything else to work with actually gonna go for a quick ball finding ourselves maybe another one of these yeah so we're gonna be able to set up another sable line that's probably gonna be the best bet crazy claws Kerchak, 130 look at that nothing to laugh at right he can start attacking with mao wow don't want to overbench too much but uh, whenever he attaches energy he's gonna be able to we are gonna be able to one hit ko him yeah damage activation biting whirlpool in the house there's a switch guard is he just gonna yeah there's a research Oof. what was his hand he's playing so many great catcher and reset stamp and all that madness crushing hammer fails crushing hammer heads okay doesn't matter too much we have turbo patch <laughs> Cherish ball, let's bring in that ADP, right? Yeah, show it to us. ADP, we need to put four damage counters on here. Are we gonna be able to do that? Yes, because you're gonna attach the energies, unless he resorts to two energy switches. Which technically could work out. That's actually gonna save himself from some damage. Okay, no more Viridian Forest for us. That's bad. Okay, Billy Wire, Willy Bite. Yeah, that's what is, uh, the attack is called. 100 damage onto our Sableye. Lots of Roxies. Interesting. Turbo Patch. Cha cha! It is Tails. It is Tails. I'm actually gonna slap down. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Building Spite first. I don't wanna use Roxy only for one. Because that's not good. We need to find an energy, right? How many Quick Balls have we used? Three. Yeah, I think, I think we're just gonna have to go for Research instead. He doesn't seem to have any energies in play, so he will need a lot of them to work out. Attachment onto the Sable Eye, waiting it out. Turbo Patch could work out or not. Yeah, that's bad. Raiden Forest, slapping that down. Maybe another Rare Fossil that actually could ha technically help us out if we are able to establish another Act Resolve. Then we just need to scoop up that to put enough damage onto that one. Crazy Claw, Scratcher, 250 damage from the Sable Eye. Don't underestimate Sable Eye here, ladies and gentlemen. There's Arctozolt, that's good, that's good. And the Weezing, oh yeah, that's gonna be perfect. So if we evolve into Arctozolt, if the opponent attaches one energy to ADP, he will get a lot of damage. Okay, same story for the Zation. If we are able to establish two of them, it's gonna be awesome. He could actually have lots of Saucers and just go and try to go for the two prize Pokemon. There's four energies in the discard pile. So if he has two Saucers in this hand right now, he should be okay. Big Charm as well, okay, Big Charm on everybody, as it seems. Saucer number one. Quick ball to NAGX, right? That's how this typically goes. We do have access to more turbo patches, right? Yeah, two turbo patches left. Fine. Saucer. Yeah, the saucer is not activating uh, the uh, Biting Whirlpool ability, unfortunately. We have the NAGX of our own, so we'll see if we're able to do anything. Okay, 230 damage, that's a lot. So his Crushing Hammer is definitely paid out for him. Yeah, this is gonna be, probably gonna be our pivot, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, building spite, more damage. Attachment here, and uh, the, yeah, the bad news is, how many switches in here? One scoop up net, one switch. So we technically go for, for this scenario Discarding the rare fossil, maybe finding the Roxy from the uh, Jirachi here. If not, we can go for the Danny GX. That's our main focus right now. There's one more turbo patch in here. Let's see how it goes. There, turbo patch, okay, fine. Turbo patch in the house. It is heads, let's go. The Danny GX. What do we have to work with here? Switches, scoop up nets. Okay, one scoop up net. That's gonna be putting this to three damage counters. Crushing hammer. It is hats. Getting rid of an energy. If he attaches another energy, we are ready to strike. Yeah. Interesting, for sure. Three energies in here, two boss. No room for Eldigo's great catcher gone as well. We could technically go for Sableye. How many switches are in this discard pal though? Two switches. He needs to find switch switch attachment. 
scoop up the Galarian Zigzagoon. If he attaches an energy, he will get damaged, but that's not a... That's not sure just yet. Interesting for sure. We can go for loot search, getting ourselves a hammer back. Or already strike damage with the Sableye here and then. Okay, they just concede. They just can they do it. They did know he were not able to get the Alter Creation GX off. I wonder what we should have done here. In that situation, maybe already attacking with Sableye, but if he has switch switch, then he has enough to attack. But then we have Spiritomb, and Spiritomb would have been able to take, of course, the Zacian down as well as another two prize Pokemon, so. Yeah, very uh, funky build for sure. So Arctazolt showing the work. Uh, it, unfortunately, it doesn't work for Metal Saucer and uh, Ultimate Ray, but it is what it is. We're gonna go first once again. See what we have to work with. Hello. Hello, how you doing? We have Quick Ball. <laughs> we could technically already have ourselves. Yeah, starting with this coughing is not good. That's why we're only running two coughing and four wheezing. Blow away bomb. Actually wanted to start with something else, but it is what it is. Also having three energies in the discard pile instantly is also not bad for turbo patch purposes. Interesting. Mm, yeah, I guess we're gonna have to go for the Danny GX instantly. Because this is ridiculous. Four hammers, two rare fossils, one Arctazol to work with, and three Roxies. That's pretty nice. We do give up onto our uh, great catcher though. It's pretty bad, but it is what it is. Okay, we do have access to this to these cards. That's pretty nice. Great ball. Getting ourselves a Jirachi. Do we want Jirachi? Probably, probably Jirachi is better, right? Because we can get a scoop up net from that one. Quick ball. This one goes away. Sable lie. Sable lie. Turbo patch activation fills. Well, if he knocks out our coughing, we just have to go for Jirachi. But I actually want to go for Jirachi instantly. Do have access to more turbo patches, right? Guess so. Yeah, not the greatest opening in the world. Not like last time, but it is what it is. Okay, we have a Roxy. Let's take the Roxy. Maybe next Stellar Wish we will get something else going for us. And just go from there. Just won't need one Turbo Patch to land successfully. We also have Ordinary Rod to shuffle back the energy, so... Starting with that coughing is never good. You always want to start with either Sableye. So you can Loot Search or starting with something you can... Uh, actually use. Now we need Scoop Up Net to put this in the hand. So either Stellar Wish gets herself Scoop Up Net or gets herself Evolution Incense or gets herself Quick Ball. So that's a lot of outs to just get the huge combo with Roxy going. Unless this guy gets the first turn full Blitz, then it would be bad. <laughs> the Danny Jax. Only one energy though. Crushing Hammer is down the drain as well. So let's just imagine that he had heads with Crushing Hammer. So it's fine. Two Pokemon in play. The bad news is our Gusting is gone. So we're gonna have to play this pretty cleverly. So we already won against ADP. Now we're up against Picaron with our Rogue deck. Oh, he's using Speed Lightning Energy onto his Dedenny Jax. His hand must be ridiculous. Maybe he doesn't want to Marnie us because we only have two cards in hand. Whatever's the case, I like it. Okay, there's a Marnie. Dang it. <laughs> we had like the, the Weezing and the Roxy. But it's fine, maybe we can get more stuff right now. We have four cards. Yeah, there's a scoop on that quick ball. Just need to find a Roxy now. Just need to find a Roxy now. Yeah. Four energies in this card file is also pretty nasty. Also, not able to electrify first turn is insane. Okay, attachment going over here. We're gonna go with quick ball. Getting ourselves coffee, coffee. And now we just need to find a Roxy. Yeah, th that's exactly what happens every single time. It's gonna have to be research. It's gonna have to be research. Yeah, we can loot search. Probably not gonna get a first turn strike off on us. I don't buy it. Maybe research right now. We do have another scoop up not ready, so it's fine. Let's just slap it like this. Research! Whoosh. Crushing hammers, that's pretty nice. And a rare fossil. More importantly, Crushing Hammer! Yeah, enough of that. No paralyzation madness. 
Okay, not a lot to work with for sure. So let's just go for loot search and we will get ourselves. If he attaches, he gets damage, right? That's how it goes. That is how it goes. A Roxy. So we can get rid of Sableye and a Weezing? Yeah, it's okay. It seems to be okay to me. Let's get this one back. Maybe we chop back another Weezing so we can get two Weezing blow away bombs and just destroy with Sableye. Whatever's the case, this guy has zero energies in play. We still have another hammer left, so this is turning out to quite eventful. Showcasing off the Sableye deck. And now we actually have choices. We can get Arctozold in play. Or we can get a Weezing and go for a crazy blow away bomb. I wonder which one is better. There's the Picaram, Pikachu. He can actually have Tandem Shock. We do have access to switches, so I haven't used any switches just yet. A reset stand, that's pretty nice because I was actually doubting what to do now. This is better. <laughs> Blow away bombs instantly and switches. Thank you. Like he has played one reset stamp and two Marnie. So I think disruption is a little bit down the drain for now. Will he get his Tapu Koko out of the active position? He can attach and retreat. This guy only has a retreat cost of one. So look at the artwork, pretty nice, right? Where are the days of the Prism Star cards? With this Roxy, the opponent will have some damage on them and then we can strike with the Crazy Claws. I actually want more damage on the field, so maybe not using Crazy Claws just yet and just going for Loot Surge, getting ourselves the Roxy back. It's not a, or actually getting the Great Catcher back is also not a bad plan with Loot Surge. Depends on what we draw with the uh, Roxy though. What is this guy doing? Two energies here, he can go, <laughs> is he stuck? He cannot be stuck, right? Picaram runs a lot of energies. Also, uh, Eldigo is gone, it's pretty nice. Electrify, come on. Air Balloon. We need to put three damage counters on here to knock him out, right? Yeah, that's exactly what we need to do. So if we top deck Zigzagoon, the Bolton will be knocked out. But then Picaram can go on the offensive with Tag Bolt Jax. We'll see. Does have a huge hand right now. Also, with all of these Pokemon in play, putting two damage counters on everything seems way stronger. Dance of the Ancients. Hmm. Loot Surge. That depends on what we draw. He could Marnie us again. Like, Picaron plays for Marnie. Also, could be playing Crushing Hammers, though. No Crushing Hammers just yet. Okay, fine. And we have lots of energies in this pile. Three Turbo Patches. If only Turbo Patches will land successfully we could actually get the upper hand. Okay. That's not what we needed. Uh, I'm actually gonna get rid of this so we can draw more stuff. Yeah, there's three hammers. That's pretty good. And three turbo patches and lots of Roxies. Everything pretty nice. Let's go, blow away bombs. Do it. Okay, we can get Zigzagoon up in the place, which is pretty nice. He probably will attach more energies, right? So what we need to do is we need to quick ball or actually see if the turbo patch lands successfully. Yeah, that's what we need to do first. Yeah, attach here, attach there. We scoop, we're actually no, not going to be needing lots of rare fossils, so I'm actually going to get rid of Switch, yeah, he could paralyze us. That's why I don't want to do that. Get rid of one rare fossil. Get the Galarian Zigzagoon. Scoop up the blow away bomb. Slap down this, so this one is knocked out. And then Crushing Hammer, going all the way down to the Picaron, which is the only one which is able to knock us out. Yeah, pretty broken, right? Crazy Claws, catch up, 190. Okay, we have another stable already. ready. Unfortunately, we were not able to establish a Spirit Tomb to knock out uh, the Dan in the late game, but we can still establish that later. Or find ourselves Ordinary Rod. Yeah, the Ordinary Rod shuffle back another stable line and have a little bit of luck with the Turbo Patches. So lots of coin flips in this match for sure. Interesting. 
Okay, Picaram not having enough energies. He could have energy switch attached and then like like <laughs> knock us out. But we have uh, means to just use Roxy again. Unless he like has another reset stamp plan for us, we should be okay. Also, our, we have lots of switch cards left, so we can actually promote our Stellar Wish Jirachi. Also, was hoping for an Arctozolt, so more damage would be spread across the field. But it is what it is. Big Charm. That's gonna cause us trouble. Switching it out. Paralyzation? Paralyzation Marnie. Paralyzation rap okay. That's bad. At least he's does he doesn't knock us out with the strategy. But a reset stamp would have been better. Yeah, this is bad. Crushing hammer could help. We have a Roxy. How many Roxies do we have left? I think. Yeah, we have enough Roxies left. Also crushing hammer. Oof, pretty nasty. Pretty, pretty, pretty nasty. Okay, oh we are happy about that. Whew. Tandem Shock, we do survive though, come on, we need to draw into that switch card, we need to reshuffle the deck. Like Evolution and Sense to reshuffle the deck, getting ourselves the Weezing. Ta-ta! Next up, we are gonna go for... Do we need to use Turbo Patch or not? We need to maximize our chances to find switch. We need to maximize our chances to find switch, so we need to do it like this. Attaching over here, Roxy combos. <laughs> Come on. No switches inside though. No switches inside. We do have Crushing Hammer though, and uh, access to Arctazolt. This is bad. This is way too bad. I wonder where we should use the Crushing Hammer though, because right now we're totally stuck. We didn't draw to our Switch cards, even though they're, uh, all of them <laughs> are in the deck, so sometimes that happens. Yeah. Gonna wait with the Crushing Hammers. We can Roxy next turn once again, so everything is in one hit KO range. Yeah, I wonder if he's gonna go for a full Blitz or not. Maybe we should have used Hammer in here or not. It depends. How many energy switches? One energy switch in here, okay. I don't want him getting more energies in play. And this guy only slaps 160, so he's just gonna attach to the Picaram and then knock us out with the Raichu Raichu. But we get three prize cards thanks to Raichu Raichu. He still needs to take, yeah, Arctazolt coming into play. This guy is in one hit KO potential. But also if we set us able to establish a Sableye right now, yeah, Tandem Shock, it's fine. Yeah, the Raichu Raichu will go down this turn. We also have scoop up net to provide more damage output. That's four damage. Let's see here. If this guy, yeah, we're gonna use Roxy anyhow, so it doesn't matter. If we use Roxy, he's gonna have five damage counters on, five damage counters. That's a whole heap of damage. Technically we can get this up and rolling so we can get ourselves more stuff like the ordinary rod, for example. Okay, the Spirit Tomb is live right now. Okay, what to do first? First things first, I think I will get rid of this. Ordinary Rot is in here, which is pretty bonkers. Roxy time. Damage on everything. We have Turbo Patch as well, okay, pretty nice. Would you look at that? Everything got damage right now. We are gonna use this one, do both. What do we need? Sableye, blow away bomb, shuffling them back, shuffling these back. And now it all comes down on if we use the crushing hammer or not, it is still. So Picaram could still go for tag bolt GX, which is very bad. Stutter wish. Crushing Hammer again. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to go with this uh, mechanic. Building Spite. I don't know if it's gonna be enough or not. We also have Turbo Patch. Maybe we wait. Wait with the Turbo Patch and all that. Scoob up Zigzagoon Madness. Could be nice. So we're gonna switch it out to Sableye first. Crushing Hammer. It is hats. This is good. 
And now we could either attach to Sableye, which is able to like right now 40 damage, next turn 70 damage. 70 damage, a little bit close, but not quite yet. Not quite yet. Okay, crazy claws in the house. Kachah! 310 damage? Like, for real. That's crazy. He already used Tapu Koko Prism Star, so she'll be out of the woodworks. Also, if he attaches an energy, more damage coming to him. Sableye is preparing itself. So this is turning out quite good. How many hammers though? We need to worry about that. One hammer. Three hammers down. We have more energies. Sableye can knock out anything that is in play right now. Anything. I wonder. Yeah, Tapu Koko Prism Star has been used. No more energy acceleration for you. Pikaram is the thing with the most HP, so he's just promoting that. Maybe he has another Pokemon that he's... How many things in the discard? Okay, they just conceived. How cool is that? We're smacking tier 1 decks all around. You ready for the last game with Sableye? Sableye Arctozold working out. Like, did you saw how much damage there was on the opponent's field? So that's why we are not running boss's orders. Although, if you could be playing boss's orders, it could also be very nice for sure. Okay, this is the last game of the day. Tails never fails. Mm-hmm. Hello. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> okay. Oh no, he's gonna we're gonna be exposed with Arctozolt. Luckily that was not our opening hand, but we were able to showcase that we're able to beat some uh, decks with our fantastic build of Arctozolt Sableye. Roxy is just such an amazing card to use, to be honest. This is a good hand. A very good hand. I don't know if we're going first or second. I think he goes first, which is nice. We always, if he goes second, you can immediately like maybe go for turbo patches. Okay, this is gonna be Eternus. So now we have every, all the tier one decks. Picaram, destroyed. ADP, destroyed. Who's next? Who is next? It's gonna be this funky Krogunk deck. Like two damage counters, putting it to five damage counters. We slap 40. We can actually knock this guy out if we find Glare and Zigzagoon. We can get this KO on Krogunk this turn. But the better plan is knocking out Eternus VMAX for sure. Like knocking out Krogung would be so much fun, right? Getting the first prize card and all that. Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, so, um, yeah, we can go for Reinforced Turbo Patch and all that magical stuff. Yeah, let's get rid of this first. Getting ourselves a coughing. We're gonna go with some blow away bombs first, saving the quick ball and see what we have to work with later. We need to establish crushing hammers so we can slow this fella down. Okay, slapping down the Sableye, slapping down the energy, using the building spite, slapping down the Jirachi, Using Quick Ball on Jirachi, finding ourselves the good friend Galarian Zigzagoon. Four hammers in there, that's crazy. Yeah, this guy will get knocked out. Slapping down the Radiant Forest, the Danny GX as well. Turbo Patch Madness, interesting. Great Ball. A Coughing. Do we need a Coughing? More damage? You, you never know. Getting rid of this one. Energy. Okay, we got the first prize card, which is pretty bonkers. <laughs> yeah, didn't find crushing hammers though. Also no rare fossils. Oh yeah, that's a Roxy, that's pretty nice. We find ourselves another quick ball or a great ball or evolution and sense. So we can Roxy again for a lot of damage. Now we just need to hope Turbo Patch lands successfully. We only slap trade 10. Yeah, we need to put five damage counters on this fella. So that means we need to draw into scoop up net from the Roxy and Turbo Patch needs to land successfully. That's that's a lot to ask for, I know, but it could happen. I've seen stranger things happening with this deck and I'm having fun with it. So that's the most important part about playing the trading card game. Okay, this Marnie is huge for sure. Super huge Marnie coming along. Turbo Patch, yeah, we only have one to Danny Jackson on our list. Luckily, we do have access to uh, Jirachi here, which can Stellar Wish. Hopefully for a Roxy. Eternatus VMAX in the house. 
That's pretty bad. We just need to find some hammers. We didn't find any hammers. If we would have only been able to slow him down for one turn, we would have been okay. At least we were uh, ahead in the prize race for one turn, which is nice. Okay, let's see. First things first. First things first. We will quick ball away this. Finding ourselves a little coughing. Next up, we are gonna see like Turbo Patch Madness. If it works or not. Stellar Wish, getting the Roxy for sure. No Arctus Old Party just yet, unfortunately. We do have uh, access to other cards though, like scoop ups and stuff. Yeah, there's the damage on everything. We do have the Crushing Hammer. Crushing Hammer time! It is Tails. That's not good. Yeah, that's not good indeed. We're gonna have to attach here. He could have like bosses orders instantly, which is pretty bad for us. Do both. And we are gonna get ourselves Spirit Tomb and Arctazolt. Although getting in a rare fossil setup right now is probably not the best bet. Maybe like a Roxy is the better play right now. Hmm, maybe. Maybe, but he's not gonna attach. Yeah, probably Roxy plays. Just gonna shuffle those back. Let's do that. Hopefully he doesn't have boss this turn. Otherwise it could go wrong very quickly. <laughs> could go wrong very quickly, but it is what it is. Sometimes you don't hit the hammers and uh, they take the upper hand. Either way, we can also like, we still have access to two, uh, like three scoop up nuts. So that could also be a way out if we research right now. That Marnie was huge. If he didn't Marnie us, we would have been better off. Okay, he switches around to Galarian Slowbro, trying to like poison us or something, or just trying to uh, provoke us. So we attack with Sableye. Or he had Dark City all along, it's fine. Two Galarian Slowbros, hopefully no boss, so Sableye can show its might. This guy is a little bit uh, menacing for sure. Still have access to all of our hammers, which is funky. I'll act like three hammers, yeah. We've run through almost half of our deck, so we'll see how, what, ha what happens. Attachment going down to the Crobat. Okay, he's gonna attack with Crobat at one point. Doesn't seem to be finding an Eternus. No boss, that's cool. Also get an Eternus into this Carpal, also nice. Krogunk number one. He could poison us and then he's probably gonna have to attack with Eternus right now. Hopefully we top deck something good. Two scoop up nets would be nice. Two scoop up nets or we find a coughing and Roxy and find the scoop up out of that one. We're not as, uh, we didn't establish another Jirachi here. Oh, he's just waiting it out. W waiting for boss, possibly. Interesting. This first, Viridian Forest. A Roxy time. Damage on everything, that's pretty nice. The Eternus is almost uh, in a point where we can knock it out. Crushing hammer time. It stills, that's bad. It's pretty, pretty bad. That's also tails, <laughs> stellar wish. A rare fossil or a scoop up net, scoop up. We attach here. Yeah, we attach here and we scoop up the Zigzagoon. And this guy has only 10 damage, that's not good. We could get poisoned again, or we could not get poisoned again. I'm definitely taking down this one at one point. I'm not gonna be attacking with that any anytime soon again. Switching it over to this one. Pass. Interesting, right? Interesting for sure. Probably gonna have to set up another Eternus Beam right there. And we have access to more scoop ups. 
Great ball. He doesn't have access to uh, Crobats anymore, which is nice. So maybe this guy will be stuck. He did use Dark City and a lot of switches already. Hiding Dark as well. Okay, Eternus VMAX number two. You need to set up another Roxy combo. Okay, that's not good. Another Dark City pops up. And he's probably gonna have to attack. Okay, there's a Marnie play, that's not bad. Hopefully he leaves our Zigzagoon alone. He's probably digging for a switch, right? We're not able to establish Arctazolt, that's bad. Hopefully he will be stuck, right? He attaches, he attached to the Eternus on the bench. So maybe he's just gonna go for boss boss. Whatever's the case. Galarian Zigzagoon poison stuff. Does he have switch? Okay, no, he's just waiting it out, fine. Okay, we have a switch and a rare fossil. <laughs> Not gonna be helping us out too much with this. Switch, Stellar Wish, Roxy. Yeah, Roxy's not good right now. Do have a rare fossil and a crushing hammer, which is Tails, unfortunately. Dang it. <laughs> this is quite the eventful game where we're just waiting it out. Yeah, these guys are able to knock us out with like the Venom Fangs and then we are not going to be able to have a response for that. This guy, also like having a boss would be great, but we don't have one. Yeah, he's going to attack with the other Eternus. Yeah, that's what I thought. We have another Sableye ready, so he still needs to take more prize card. Okay, he bosses. He bosses and he gets what he wants. How many switches and scoop up that's left? One switch, two scoop ups. Yeah, definitely need to go on the offensive right now, otherwise we're never going to be able to make it. Yeah. Attach. And Crazy Claws. <laughs> Hopefully next turn we do draw into another Sableye so we can finish. Yeah, but he, he already has the game won. That's pretty nice. Nicely played, like hiding behind these other Pokemon. Look at all the damage that we were able to inflict here. Hopefully we find some some hammers. How many hammers left? One hammer, that one hammer is not gonna help, unfortunately. Stellar Wish, Rare Fossil. Yeah, that was it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of Arctozolt Sableye. If you did, be sure to demolish the like button as always, as it does support the channel more than you would possibly think. Check out my sponsors, cardmarket.com. If you're a European player to purchase yourself some uh, Pokemon cards or sell uh, cards yourself, or check out poketownstore.com for anything revolving around the trading card game online. They have everything up on stock. Eternus codes, Zation codes, and also during the holiday season, you can actually uh, get one free gift and uh, you also can use, of course, still the coupon code ZAPDOCCG for 5% of your next order. Anyhow, see you guys tomorrow. Peace.